We're in section 8.1, we're on page 360, number 16, and we're going to be solving this question by graphing. As we just talked about, to find a solution of a system of equations by graphing, you need to graph the equations and then find out where they cross. This is all section seven or 8.1. So how do we first of all graph this equation? Does anybody know what x equals four is gonna look like? Mike, what? That's right, it's straight up and down. Go ahead, so can you graph x equals four? All of you should be doing this, so go ahead and make sure you write it down as well. Write it down as well. Yeah, that's right, and straight up and down. Nice straight line at x equals four. All right, because if you did a T chart of that, just for you, know, just you know, this is an aside, just so you know, if you did a T chart of x and y, and where x equals four, then for every value of x, every value of x is going to be four. No matter what y is, every value of x is four. That's kind of the intuition about that line. Okay, so this is x equals four. So that was easy. If you know your stuff, x equals anything is going to be a uh, up and down line like a cliff, okay, or a building straight up and down. This is Manhattan. You know what I mean? It's basically a building straight up and down at x equals whatever the number is. Now, what about three y minus two x equals one? How do we graph that? What's our first step? There are different ways to do it. You can use the intercept method. You can use y equals mx plus b. But which one do you want to use? Let's have someone else, Mike. Y equals mx. You could do y equals mx plus b. If I wanted to make put that into y equals mx plus b, what would I do? Would David. Uh, you y subtract y plus s. Subtract what? You want to, well, first of all, we want to solve for y, right? Oh, yeah. Add 2x. Go, go ahead. Add 2x with the blue pen. 2x by both sides and then And then what? Divide by? Divide 3 by both sides. That's right. So we get 3y equals 2x plus 1. Everybody write it down. 3y equals 2x plus 1. Okay, 3y equals 2x plus 1. And then we divide by 3 on both sides and we get y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 third. You should. So now, what is m equal to here? Jessica, what's, what's the slope of this line? Um, two thirds. Good, so put m equals 2 thirds. And Ashley, what's the y intercept? What we call b. Can't see it? All right. Someone else? Ian, what's our b or our y intercept? Yes, one third. Good job. B equals one third. So now we've got the elements that we need to be able to graph this. Don't worry about the fractions. Where do we, what do we use first? Do we do the rise over run? Do we go with our slope first? Y intercept first. Okay, well where's one third? Where's that going to be? Let's draw a grid here. One, two, three, etc. Where's our one third going to be in terms of a point for a y intercept? Zero Between zero and one, exactly. Like about one third of the way up. So it would be about right there, okay? So to finish this off, again, we started with one-third as our y-intercept. We went up one, two. Notice that that basically point right there is zero, two, and one-third. And we went over three. One, two, three. We've got our other point. And now we're going to just draw a line through those two points with blue. Draw a line through those two points. And guess what? You've got your solution. Where is that solution? Just by visual inspection, where am I going to have that solution? Right where? Here? Jake? Will? Where's our solution? Right here? The intersection point right there is our solution. Go ahead and put solution. The word solution is it's exactly where the two things cross. Okay? And in this case, we're going to estimate it. What's our estimate of where that is? Lucas, come on. Jonathan, what's our estimate of where that is? Is it the point one one? Is it the point two three? What is it, David? It's going to be one, two, three, four, and Y is going to be what? Thank you. All right, so uh, as we were talking about, this is four over. This point right here is four over because four X is on the, the line X equals four, and then it's up. Well, you have to estimate it right here. It looks like it, this is two and one third, so that's probably about three. And we'll put in, the solution is four and three. And that's our estimated solution, okay? This right here is our estimated solution.
the point of intersection. <coughs> Any questions? On page 360, number 17, we've worked out another question. The question is, find the solution for y equals 3x and y equals negative 3x plus 2. Y equals 3x and y equals negative 3x plus 2. You've got to graph both equations and the way that you do it is by finding, or one of the ways you do it, is by finding the y-intercept and the slope for each equation. In y equals 3x, there's no number here where the b would normally be, but it shouldn't bother you. That just means that b equals 0. There is no number, there is no value for the y-intercept, it means it's at 0. The slope is 3 because y equals 3x, m, x plus b, the m is 3. In this more uh, standard looking one, y equals negative 3x plus 2, it's pretty obvious that m is negative 3, which is actually negative 3 over 1, and b is equal to 2. Just line them up and there you go. When we go to graph that, we'll graph this line first. Your y-intercept is 2, so we've got a point there. And then we will go down 3, because it's negative 3 over 1, 1, 2, 3, down 3, and over 1. We have our second point and our red line, which we'll label y equals negative 3x plus 2. That's one graph of one line. Then our blue line is y equals 3x, and we probably should write that in blue. That way we can avoid any confusion. Our blue line, we start at 0, okay, because the y-intercept is 0. We go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1. And there's our second blue point. We draw a line, and the solution is the place where they cross, which we estimate here as 1, 1, which is going to be pretty darn close to whatever other way you figure this out. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, sir. Got the idea? Thank you so much.